Well, hello and good day. Hope that this video is finding you in good health and in good spirits. Oh my, we do have some questions for the cards today. I've got to admit, I'm taking a little bit of delight in this because today is the day when Chuck Schumer, Senate Majority Leader, has called for a vote in the Senate on the border security bill. This is the border security bill that was passed in a bipartisan manner uh, back in February, but it failed um, after Donald Trump very publicly opposed it. Now, this is the bill that was put together by uh, Senator Murphy, Senator uh, James Lankford from Oklahoma, who's a very conservative Republican and uh, Senator Cinema. It's also a bill that's got a lot of outside support for it. Um, Chamber of Commerce, the National Border Patrol Council, which is the union for the border guards, and it even had the endorsement of the Wall Street Journal, right? Another very conservative organization because essentially this bill gave Republicans everything they have ever demanded in any kind of border security bill. And it was about creating solutions. It was about getting rid of the backlog of asylum seekers. It was about bringing in legislation where the border could be shut down if it was overwhelmed by mass amounts of migrants. And it would get people's claims heard quickly and those that don't qualify for asylum can get uh, repatriated back to their home country. Everything that you could possibly want. The Democrats really didn't even push that much for things that they would normally want like, you know, doing something about the Dreamers, etc. Now, when it went through, it was turned down in the House and when it went through the Senate also um, only four Republicans voted for it. All the rest of them voted against it because, of course, they had to appease dear leader. Now, the measure probably isn't going to pass, you know, this time, but Chuck Schumer has made the point, and he is keen to make the point that Republicans now own the country's border crisis. Uh, every time this is going to come up during election campaigning, debates, etc., um, the Democrats are going to be able to turn around and say, see, we tried to give you what you wanted, but you wouldn't take yes for an answer. And Republicans will be left, you know, defending the decision to let the issue continue to fester in order to appease Donald Trump. I would not for love nor money, want to be a Republican member, either House or Senate, on the election trail, trying to defend this decision and explain to the American people how your party got everything that they wanted on this big crisis that you've been yanging on about for four years about what a crisis the southern border is and then you refuse to take yes for an answer. Could be a little hard. Might need some splaining. Anyways, we're going to do our standard Celtic cross. And we're using Mystic Monday's Tarot by Grace Duong. I needed something that was bright and cheerful because I've been dealing with some negative juju energy all day. So, just our regular Celtic cross. And the signifier on this one is the Ace of Wands. And this is a card that's about, it's the seeds of new action. It's about uh, the beginning of creation of, you know, passion and energy and the energy that's going into a new project. And, you know, that enthusiasm that comes with that kind of uh, movement. And it is crossed by the Two of Swords. Two of Swords, this is a card that's about balance. And also it's about, you know, having to make difficult decisions. 
this is not an easy problem to tackle and that's why it needed to be tackled in a bipartisan manner and they did come up with a pretty comprehensive bill <clears throat> but it's also a card that's about denial and it's about stress and it's also about willful blindness right in the rider weight version of this card um, the woman sitting on the rocks is blindfolded now in the past we have the seven of swords this is a card about deception and dishonesty and you know kind of cunning or as i like to think about it being too smart by half because the republicans really have stepped into it i mean even the state of the union address that joe biden gave this you know late winter um James Langford, the the uh, camera panned on him when Joe Biden was talking about what was in this bill. And while well, the rest of the Republicans around were like, boo, boo, boo. James Langford was, that's true. You know, so it is going to cause some divisions in the future. Speaking of future, with future position, we have the two of cups in a reverse position and this is a card about division and separation and we're certainly seeing it from those uh those senators who are able to make their own decisions um and have the courage to do so and those that are in the thrall of appeasing the leader because they're afraid of consequences they're afraid that somebody's going to be they're going to get mean tweeted or somebody is going to primary them or somebody is going to you know say nasty things about them in the sky of the reading which is the you know goals and the overarching energy that we have here and we have the chariot now this is a card that is about you know success and self-discipline it's about having ambition and it would certainly put a lot of people kind of on the map if they could come up with and, and be associated with solving this uh problem and it's also about having the willpower to make the kind of movement that needs to be made. So there is a strong desire to get this handled. And in the foundation of the reading, this is the energy that's kind of supporting it all. We have the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is very confident and she's very vivacious and social. She can make the deal. She can network. She can... Um, bring about creativity and encourage people to be creative and find those kind of solutions. So is that kind of like, let's pull together, let's work together for the American people, that kind of energy very much at the foundation of this reading. Now, message from spirit. It's not working so well. We have the nine of wands in a reverse position. And nine of wands, when it is reversed, is about defensiveness. Republicans have to defend this, and it is not going to be easy. It is about being stubborn and being distrustful and about paranoia and about having Donald Trump wanting to be able to campaign on and use the border issue as a cudgel on the uh, campaign trail as opposed to being able to say, that we have got together and resolved this for the American people. In the environment, people that are around it, we have the Four of Cups, and it's in a reverse position. Four of Cups, when it is reversed, is about something needing realignment. It's also about apathy and depression. And yeah, I would be depressed too. If I was a Republican member, either of the House or the Senate, who was in for election, and I had to stand up and somehow justify this insanity, because really it has come down to the Democrats are in a position where they are saying, you know, um, heads I win and tails you lose. It's, it's really that simple. And they didn't construct it. The Republicans built this trap for themselves. 
That's the amazing part. That's the amazing part. In the hopes and fears. We have the tower in a reversed position. Tower, when it is reversed, is about averting disaster. It's about transforming a situation and, you know, having a revelation that allows you to build uh, forward. And it is kind of this awakening. Um, I'm not sure if this is a hope or a fear card or both. Um, I think the Republicans are terrified that their, you know, the normie Republicans, the Magos will never change. Uh, the normie Republicans will figure out what a uh, uh, total flim flam this is from the word get go. And it is certainly going to energize anybody who cares about border issues amongst the independents and Democrats will take the win. Final outcome. We have the Six of Pentacles in a reverse position. This is a card that is about being in debt, being in debt to someone, being in debt to Donald Trump, right, for your political stand, because none of them can move without his say so, and being dependent on it. And his not wanting, he, you know, he's a very stingy man. He's stingy, doesn't like to pay his, his physical bills, but he also does not like to give every, everything's transactional and everything's a zero sums game. So if the American people uh, win on something and there's a solution for it, then he personally loses. He loses what he thinks is a, a winning uh, election campaign issue. And in the shadow position, we have the Three of Cups, and it's in a reverse position. Three of Cups, when it's reversed, is people coming together, but it is people that are going with the flow just to please others. They are jettisoning their own interests. They've been, everything is being done with the whole, so the sacrifice in order to please another, um, also known as trying too hard and not respecting your own boundaries. So what do I think? I, I don't think that the bill is going to pass. And once again, may I be wrong? Um, but I think that the, the Democrats are going to make a lot of mileage on it. And I think that Republicans, both in the House and those that are in the, the Senate um, coalition that are up for reelection this year, this is not what they needed and this is not what they wanted. So anyways, time will tell. We will see. And that's the reading for today. And I will talk to you very soon. Bye-bye for now.